It's not just the <sighs> UK. Uh, YouTube has started rolling out age estimation technology to a small set of users in the US starting August 13th if the platform thinks that you are under 18 it will activate protection measures like non-personalized ads okay cool um, it will enable the take a break and bedtime reminders and it will alter Those recommendations uh, yeah, honestly. I mean, these all, maybe they should just roll them out platform wide. Yep. Anyway, um, Google is taking similar measures with some US based Google accounts over the next few weeks. The Australian government is nixing an exception they were going to make for YouTube in the country's social media ban. Come December, accounts for users under 16 will be illegal. In other news, Spotify is threatening to delete UK user accounts if they fail an age verification test. Uh, here's a list of Ofcom approved methods for age verification in the UK. You can do facial age estimation, so you show your face via photo or video and technology analyzes it to estimate your age. Open banking! You give permission for the age tech service to securely access information from your bank about whether you're over 18. The age check service then confirms this with the site or app. Keep that, keep that, keep that train going. Digital identity services. These include digital identity wallets, which can securely store and share information, which proves your age in a digital format. Credit card age checks. You provide your credit card details and your payment processor checks if the card is valid because you must be over 18 to obtain a credit card that shows you're over 18. Was I over 18 when I got my first credit card? I'm trying to think. I thought I had like a parent cosign one before I was 18. I could have sworn I did. Uh, no, I'm looking at something somebody else sent that they said was cool. Why, what's Newgrounds. <laughs> well, someone said that... Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. I haven't heard anyone say Newgrounds in forever, but somebody said that Newgrounds is doing an age checking that is actually really cool, so I okay. want to see what well, Hold on, let me get through the rest of yeah, the yeah, officially yeah, yeah, approved yeah, yeah. ones. Uh, Email-based age estimation. Wait. You provide your email address, and I love this. Technology analyzes other online services where it has been used such as banking or utility providers to estimate your age. Mobile network operator age check, so you give permission for an age check service to confirm whether or not your mobile phone number has age filters applied to it. And photo ID matching. So this is similar to a check where you show a document. For example, you upload an image of a document that shows your face and age, and an image of yourself at the same time. And these are compared to confirm the document is yours. Here are some sites that are verifying, and this is from the BBC. Um, Pornhub. And a number of other major adult websites have confirmed that they will introduce enhanced age checks. Reddit has already introduced age verification to stop people aged under 18 from looking at certain mature content. Telegram and Twitter, uh, they'll be using facial scans to determine if users are over or under 18. Discord gives UK users a choice of face or ID scanning as a way to verify their age. Um, and after testing methods, uh, Blue Sky says, uh, after testing, whatever, Blue Sky says it will give UK users a range of different verification options. And Newgrounds has announced they will not use facial recognition and instead use things like account age or supporter status to determine user age. Which is effectively pay access, now, to be clear. Now, this is hilarious. Small one-time fee. This is hilarious. We can't verify this right now, not easily anyway. But apparently, some folks in the UK are using Gary's Mod to circumvent UK censorship. <laughs> Come Pretty on. fantastic. Oh my god. That is amazing. Pretty fantastic. I hope it's real. I really hope it's real. Oh, well, last week we talked about how they used Death Stranding. Yeah. So they're using games either way. I just liked I just liked the Gary's Mod one better. Honestly, if if, if you're going to put <laughs> I think it's hilarious that they're they're it's openly talking about how they're not going to regulate AI, which, I mean, I've talked about how I don't think it would work anyways, even if they tried. So it is what it is. But yep. um, they're openly talking about how they're not going to regulate AI. And they're saying, oh, by the way, we're going to verify your age based on a picture. That is a Those two things happening at the same time is genuinely hilarious to me. Because people are using, like, video games, especially Gary's Mod, in my opinion, is really funny. The easiest way to do this would just be to generate a picture. Yep. Well, don't forget, they, they ask you to do stuff. But yeah. even then, you could just generate an avatar. Yeah. Like, 
It's pretty trivial. This is literally a solved problem. And they're like, we'll use this totally solved problem that the kids know the best as, yeah. <laughs> as our version of age verification. Like, are you kidding me? How disconnected, <laughs> uh, how completely disconnected lawmakers seem to let, be from tech and it, how it works. Let's make it an enormous, massive, incredible pot of extremely valuable information for people to steal and hoard. Um, for all of the people that are going to approach this legitimately. And let's also make it incredibly easy to get around illegitimately um, so that it is completely ineffective to anyone who really wants to actually access this content and shouldn't for whatever reason, or we don't want to, maybe I'll say that. Um, but we are still collecting an incredibly valuable hoard of information just to make sure that someone can steal it. That, that is all that is happening is completely ineffective, completely worthless, and, and a huge pot of valuable information for now bad look, hackers. Now look, if I could believe that they were actually going to just ingest this information, process the check, send back a validation code or something like that, and it was immediately deleted, if I could actually trust that Still that was happening, effective. look... <laughs> If I could trust that that was actually happening perfectly, then this stuff wouldn't bother me as much. But to Luke's point about creating treasure troves of data for people to target, I think that's way more likely, unfortunately. Or even treasure troves of pipelines of data. Like you're saying, even yeah. if it's immediately deleted. Well, they had it for a Look, period of time. When I say, so if those systems are compromised. Okay, when I say immediately deleted, though, I'm talking end to end encrypted and immediately deleted. I'm talking if they were doing it, if I could trust them to do it properly. Because that's the problem. In general, I am fairly supportive of the idea of not having to carry around a stupid plastic card that validates if I'm allowed to operate a motor vehicle. What fucking year is it? <laughs> but the flip side is I don't trust them to do the other way properly. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. If I could, then obviously the utopia is that I just have everything tracked digitally if I if I don't care and I have, you know, plastic, paper, physical options if I do care. Choice. I'm advocating for choice, but either way it should be done with security first, and I just don't trust. And to be clear, I'm not singling out the UK government here. No, it's and happening I'm not even, in lots I'm of I'm not places. singling out the US government or the Australian government, which is why I didn't name any specific governments. It's just all of them in a, in a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> all of those governments are very well regarded. <laughs> oh, language we're not gonna make it out of here i didn't say it i said off you said more than that <laughs> <laughs>